For residents of Union Square Apartments, the terror of Monday morning's fire is all too real. Flames rippled through Building C around 3 a.m. It, it's scary. I mean, you could feel the heat all the way on the other side of the sidewalk. You know, the flame was so high, you know, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, scared out that night. I feel for everybody that lost their home. Some people ain't even got nowhere to go back to, you know. I, everybody got somewhere to lay, but that night when that happened, you know, ain't nobody got nowhere to go. Neighbor Cassidy Harris says he woke to someone banging on his door, yelling to get out. Luckily, the fire did not spread to other buildings, but Harris says he can't imagine what his neighbors are going through. It's hard to come out your comfort zone somewhere you'd have been at a long period of time. It kind of make it uncomfortable, so I just want to say a prayer for them people and just hope, hopefully, you know, everything be successful and that we can build and help them get back in their normal state. Harris says he knows everyone will do all they can to help. For our closest friends, like, it's a tragedy, you know. It feels sad. We try to help all we can, you know. If they need anything, money, food, water, anything, you know, we have to support them. The families are rebuilding with the help of the community and Freed Indeed Ministries' Nell Totten. She says she has received hundreds of donations, which she plans to distribute to the families at a Sunday gathering. She invites the whole community to attend. For Kix 96 News, I'm Ashley Fortenberry.